Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be building the SR-91 Aurora in Kerbal Space Program. So, well, what is the Aurora? Well, it's, as you can tell from its designation, SR-91, it's a, uh, it's a successor, uh, successor to the Blackbird, the SR-71. But the interesting part about the Aurora is that it's 100% top secret. So, the government has not released anything about the Aurora yet. In fact, they deny its existence. And because of that, very little is known about the Aurora, and what it looks like is just descriptions from eyewitness accounts. So basically, that kind of gives me a lot of uh, creative liberties when designing it. And I think I, in KSP, as you can see, ended up looking all right. So yeah, the Aurora is a special kind of uh, a spy plane because it is hypersonic, and it is supposedly capable of Mach 6. And it uses a special kind of engine to achieve that, which I will try to mimic in Kerbal Space Program. It uses a pulse, a, a hypersonic scramjet pulse detonation engine. So, like a hypersonic pulse jet engine, basically. So, it's sort of like having little explosions in the engine, but like one singular explosion at a time to propel the aircraft forward. And uh, we know this because of the few sightings we've had, people have noticed that the sound it makes is as if, you know, you, you hear like a rocket engine or a really loud jet engine just for like a second and then it stops. And after a few seconds, it, it, it's on again. So you hear these sort of series of bursts. People have been claiming to hear these sort of series of bursts and claim that it is because of this aircraft. Now, other evidence that this aircraft actually exists because, well, we don't, there's no official documents on it because once again, it's not supposed to exist, is that there have been a few like visual sightings and people have described it as a sort of delta wing aircraft with those cool little uh, vertical stabilizers back there. And by the way, in real life, it's, it's, it's all black, so. Couldn't really do that in Kerbal Space Program, unfortunately. Maybe in Kerbal Space Program 2 one day. There have been sightings of it on uh, flight radars, actually. So there there was a time uh, where it was near the west coast of the U.S. A flight radar, a flight radar tracked an unidentified flight. And apparently the, the object was flying at really high altitudes and at like Mach 6. That's all we really know about the aircraft. So as you can see here in KSP, uh, it kind of just blows up spontaneously because of the Kraken. I don't know what happened. I tried to turn it around and land it. Didn't really work out. And so here I am in the VAB trying to mimic those pulse jet engines. And I did that by getting a Cal 100. And I just made a track that makes the, the rapiers throttle up suddenly and then stop and then just cut the throttle for a second. And that's how and that's how I was able to mimic the pulse jet engine. It ended up working all right in my final iterations. In my first one, uh, I, it wasn't really a pulse, and the throttle sort of just like went up gradually and then went down again. But uh, it took a while to get the the right um, track to make the engines work right. But uh, and in fact, uh, for for most of this video, it's really just me trying to figure out how to get the engines to work right. And so you might be asking yourself, well, how did we get the name Aurora if there's no official documents on it or, or there's no official documents on it or any official information about it anywhere? Well, that actually comes from a, an unclassified document from the 1980s where it was a U.S. Air Force budgets. And most of the stuff there was redacted except for the word Aurora. But Aurora wasn't a, a known project in the Air Force, which means that Aurora must have been a secret project uh, that the Air Force was working on. So... After, you know, they, they saw the word Aurora, and then people started seeing this plane, they thought maybe this new top-secret hypersonic spy plane could be Aurora, but no, it turns out Aurora was actually the project designation for the B-2 Spirit. So in reality, this plane probably isn't called the Aurora, and we don't know what it's called. So yeah, it's a really interesting plane, successor to the Blackbird, and uh, it's top secret, which is cool and stuff. And so here I am flying it for the last time. This is when I finally got the Pulse engines to work, except that it just the Kraken sort of disintegrated it for some reason. I still don't know why that happened. And yeah, here's a last good look at it in the VAB. A uh, craft file will be in the description. And uh, if you haven't already checked out my career series, I highly recommend you do. But also, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be uh, that I've been out of town for a bit. So there might be some latency to when my next video comes out. But yeah, thanks for watching.